All right, and we are back with the matchup here. It is Tootie versus Volkswagen Todd. Tootie 2 0 on the matchups for the tournament here. It's uh, definitely looking to be in Tootie's freighted for here, I've got to say. I think he's going to walk away with the win again. Um, he seems to be a lot more confident now, no shakiness, no nerves playing on him. And But, you know, that confidence could bite him pretty hard here. It really could. I, I say it all the time. You you cannot get cocky in matchups like this because it'll always come back to haunt you. It <laughs> always does. Absolutely, yeah. Usually when players get a little bit overconfident, they start pushing the pace, getting themselves out of their comfort zone is what it really is, and then they start making those mistakes that are going to cost them a game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, Tootie is a very aggressive player himself. I've played with him for years, as I mentioned earlier. And, I mean, he's a runner. It's what he knows in capture the flag game modes and demolition and anything that involves running and currently blitz. He's sneaky. He is very fast. He is very quick on his feet. And his reaction times have always been amazing. <laughs> but, like, Todd is sticking it with Old Faithful, SA805. I think that's a good option for him. I've got to say, I've got to agree, you've got a lot of long-range fights that are going to occur on this map. I mean, it's such a two-sided map, You, it splits so beautifully. We're going to see some great fighting, and I think we're going to see a lot of action around the warehouse. Oh, yeah. That seems to be a favorite of any player, really. Mm -hmm. Warehouse and Owens. And it seems, seems to uh, Todd already spotted out Tootie there around the fence uh, just a few seconds ago and is uh, trying to hunt him down now. 2D having split off and managed to get around behind Todd. Not uh -huh. sure how that happened. Didn't quit catch it there. And it's looking like 2D's uh, oh. pushing Todd and the uh, first kill for a knife. Back to have none the left. And like I said, we're going to see a lot more aggression from Tootie, I think, just because, you know, that cockiness you get from winning two matches back-to-back -back against your opponent, that confidence that comes mm -hmm. with it. But at the same time, that confidence is well earned, because you got to keep in mind, having lo just lost two matches back-to-back, -back, it's got to be playing on Todd, and he's got to be worried about it. He's got to be nervous, whether or not this is a goal for him that he really wants or not which I'm actually unsure of completely, to be honest. I think, you know, he's a very laid-back person, and like I've said before. But I could be completely wrong, and this may be something he's truly yearning for. But, you know, it's important to keep in mind, this doesn't put him out of the game. It's a big drawback to be the first person with a loss to your belt, you know. <laughs> but at the same time, he could still make the team. You've got to be, you've got to lose three of these best-of-five matchups in order to be eliminated from the tournament. And we've got 26 competitors, so a lot of great matchups. You never know who's going to face who. Oh, and Todd trying to make a comeback through the <laughs> floor of the warehouse there. And like I said, we're going to see a lot of great action around the warehouse this match. We really are. Absolutely. We see Tootie definitely determining the pace. He's sprinting around the map just as he likes to do. Looking for that complete map control. Out he of really is, house. and I've got to say, it, it's what's going to make him an underdog in this tournament. I think he's got a lot of potential to make the team, personally. And he's got a lot of intelligence. I can say myself, years ago, and years ago, I've pulled him off to the side multiple times and taught him a few tricks of the trade from back in my days of Halo 2 and Mech Assault 2. <laughs> See 2D locking off parts of the map. I think mean, that's a really smart idea because he wants to be running around as much as possible. Closing those doors, he's kind of minimizing the areas of all the angles of contact that Todd can get him from. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I've got to say, I must admit, that thought hadn't even occurred to me, just the ways you can lock off this map, closing all those doors. Oh, Tootie with a risky move considering his gun going up top. That oh, wow. That at that range could be brutal. Oh, he actually just looked at Todd. Todd. And Todd looked at him, didn't even see him, so this could be very interesting. <laughs> That's a big factor. You can Looks like Tootie anything. and him are about to meet any second. Oh! And, oh, Tootie with another knife. That was an intense knife. I was watching it from Todd's point of view, and <laughs> there was no and one. She's kind of Todd splashing. trying to make a comeback here, finally getting a kill. Got to feel good for Todd. It's 5-1, Tootie to Todd. Got to be careful, though. The spawns on this map. 
map, they're going to hold one spawn for a while before they spawn flip. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Oh, the nade. Beautiful. Oh, Todd, you just looked at him. Oh, Todd, you're running right over him. Oh, my. Oh, Judy just crouching down and hiding for a little bit. Well, Todd loses the advantage. Trying to wait it out on Tootie's part, and I gotta say that's a very smart move in my opinion. I mean, so many people expect when you get hit by a grenade like that, they expect you to try and run, get a, get some distance, get some cover f to regenerate your health. Uh, but Tootie playing it smart and uh, waiting for him to push up and try and take him. You know, it's a smart move. Oh, the sense. Judy getting some distance here, trying to uh, catch Todd off guard. Oh, beautiful. And it played off. Played off really well. One thing I was going to say is that sometimes being in one of those really commonly expected areas you might see in public match, such as uh, Third Story Owens or in the top of the warehouse, you know, sometimes that'll actually come to your advantage because in these competitive tournaments, people aren't necessarily going to expect that. They might see that it's such a common spot, and that they themselves might expect it, but, you know, crazy things can happen. I've got to say, it's it's a personal thing for me. I personally try and avoid the most played areas in the map. I mean, I'll avoid top of Owens, I'll avoid third story Owens, and I'll try and avoid Owens entirely. Oh! Uh, I find the warehouse to be key, and Tootie with another knife. He's getting up so close to Todd and catching him off guard. Mm -hmm. And Todd is just drawing him over to him with those grenades. Tootie hears that. He's going to make his way around for a flank. And, and Tootie seems to be flanking pretty hard this game. I've got to say, it's a smart move and it's a great way to play. You know, not running directly into a bait like that. Mm -hmm. That's really what this map is about. It's got a lot of those lanes that, you know, that you can engage directly on, but it's got all these side paths that you can really flank people well. Yeah, I've got to say, I couldn't agree more here. You've got Tootie trying to constantly flank around and work those lanes very, very well. Not seeing much baiting on Tootie's part. It seems to be, though, he's playing so aggressively, he's playing very defensively at the same time. <laughs> it's He's reacting well and Todd set a pace for the fight. Man, Todd's got to stay out of there if he's not going to be watching that lower side. That that top warehouse is just a big freaking trap. I mean, it's even I think it's cage. It's got the <laughs> cage look to it. Very dangerous place to be. It up really top. does. It really, really does. And one of the things I've got to say is, if you're going to be playing warehouse, you know, you should always be checking, you know, ground floor quite regularly, because it's so easy to get caught off guard there. Oh, and Todd oh. got the ball. I can't help but wonder if Tootie heard it. And no, he didn't. Todd got him. Mm, that's a big factor, that ankle crunching when you drop. It's a huge giveaway because dead sounds isn't going to hide that sound. Yeah, no, it won't. Todd looking to make a risky move here going top over. Oh, that would have been beautiful. <laughs> Todd, oh, oh, that's the risk you take being up there. Full exposure. Yeah, uh, like I said, it's a huge risk. I try and avoid those places personally, especially in a 1v1 setting. You want to try and find those unique places where people don't play off of much. You want to try and catch them off guard as much as possible and throw the game, because so much of this is psychological. It really is. <laughs> Absolutely. I remember I first got into psychological gameplay back in my Halo days. I wasn't quite at the MLG level as you, but you know, I would definitely manipulate people with the radar and uh, just all kinds of things. All right, Todd. Oh, yeah, definitely. Myself as well. I mean, one of the best things you could do in the Halo 2 days was using your grenades to your advantage. You know, moving into one place where you can chuck a grenade. Any good player in Halo could trail any grenade back to its source very easily, <laughs> but it's just all a matter of gameplay. Oh, we got you stuck with a Semtex! Right. Absolutely outstanding.
Oh yeah, I, I, I must admit, I did not expect to see a lot of that. Oh, another Semtex incoming. Oh, Todd is just... Ooh, he is under pressure. Looking for... I've got a pistol kill. That's pretty bold. Might be looking for a Definitely little bit. pretty bold. It's uh, seeming to me like Todd's sort of given up on this matchup. Uh, I think he knows what's coming. Uh, I've got to say, I don't... Uh, I, you know, Todd can make a comeback. It's always possible. But you got to keep in mind, so much of the match is dragged by. 2D has such a lead. He only needs two kills, and he walks away with the win. <laughs> now, are you ending these matches at 15 kills, or is it going to proceed to 20? Hey, hey, well, true, I forgot. It's going to proceed to 20, so, you know, but at the same time, you got to keep in mind, he's got such a huge lead. Yeah. Kind of surprising. And it sounded like time sticking down here, so uh, it's looking like Judy's won this. I don't see it being feasible for Todd to catch up. Yeah, we see the players sacrificing a lot of perk space with uh, their secondaries, uh, their lethals, and equipment. That's their tactical. Excuse me. I I've got to say, I didn't expect to see a lot of that, honestly. I expected more people to go for the perks and that constant boost in skill and that just having so many perks gives Exactly. You. But you never know, having those secondaries, it can really play in, being able to switch when you are running low on ammo. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's 2D won that matchup. That means he has won three in a row. That match is over. 2D walks away with the win, Todd having gotten his first loss. He only needs two more to be eliminated from the tournament overall. That is it for this matchup. The next one will be going on here in the near future. It will be Trickster versus WP Ghost Wolf here in the very near future. So I look forward to that match, and uh, we'll catch you all later. Peace.